Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors was a short one. We came out here on Beaver Terre Waters for about three hours. It wasn't a planned trip. Matter of fact, we weren't even planning on filming for walleye at all this week. However, being in Northwest Arkansas, we saw the pirate posting a lot of photos of walleye online the last couple weeks. And we said, you know what? We got a couple hours to spare. Can we come out? Now we knew the pirate is big on fire gel. Matter of fact, he uses walleye fire gel and basically whether it's a jig or a stick bait and he throws it out there and catches fish almost every single day. We were in town for meetings in Arkansas and Missouri and said, let's try our luck. All right, guys, we're out here on the uh, Beaver Lake tailwaters, throwing jerk baits coated in the Potsky's fire gel walleye scent, and we are tearing them up. Well, maybe it is. Well, I see it way out there. Yeah. It's a, it's a big one. It's a good one. Good fish. It's in the top again. It's right in. The whole thing is in his mouth. The lure's bigger than he is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think he's just wrapped. Now he's a free man. Now he's like, oh. Come on, buddy. That's bigger than the last one by a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, I, is that your crappie rod, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> no. Awesome. No. He's just chased by a couple of his buddies, too. the beaver tailwaters over by Eureka Springs, Beaver Lake tailwaters. We're uh, fishing for walleye. We've been throwing six pound test. I like the six, it's a little bit, this water's super clear. And uh, the six pound test gives a little lower visibility for the fish out here. We're using medium rods with uh, just the Berkley lightning rod is what I like. Medium action, six and a half foot, um, throwing jerk baits. Just about whatever, whatever style you like. I like the uh, Mega Bass Brower bait makes these. Uh, the Potsky's Fire Gel, of course. That's the ticket today. We're using the walleye bread with a walleye flavor. Just give a good heavy coat of that on there on both sides. Little. There you go. There. He's just a little fella, but he's ate the fire out of it. Here we go. Come here, little fella. We're gonna start fighting. That guy. When the sun came off the water and you can't see it, there it is now. You can Good see fish. it. Good fish. I love it when they're big enough you don't have to make them. We're lucky we re released <laughs> Jim's last fish so he could eat this one. <laughs> Another good one out here on the tailwaters. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish. Oh, there it is. That is a, a short, short walleye. He's going back. No, don't put him in that. Yeah. Make sure if he falls off, I don't want your damn lure going with him. These walleye, they're coming up to do their, they're making their spawning run from Table Rock Lake. So they start up in January, February when the, when the, when the, when it's really cold outside, they generate more and that creates more flow out of Beaver Lake and that triggers the walleye to start up early, January, February. They come up, you fish them, you can catch them all the way up and then all the way back down whenever they decide to start they open the floodgates this time of year to, for excess water. That runs warmer water, 50 degree water, and that's what they like to spawn in. So when they shut the floodgates off and turn the generators back on, these walleye will head back to Table Rock. And then we can catch them all the way back to Table Rock. And while that water's warm water's running, we have a lot of bonus species come up in the river. You can catch smallmouth, white bass. There's always the trout, rainbows and brown trout up here. There's even a few stripers in the river right now. Um, the paddlefish are up. So there's just so much 
opportunity right now, this time of year on the river. You never know what you might catch. We're targeting walleye, but you know, we might catch a striper or a big smallmouth. You never know. That's him way up there? Uh-huh. He's way up in the corner. He just up that up river. <laughs> Big old accidental foul hook, bonus fish. Look at this thing, that's a 60 pound spoonbill on six pound test. <laughs> Let her go. Come here, little girl. There she goes. A lot of fish. That is a brown trout? Yep. A little brown. Oh yeah. Come here, buddy. There he is. Colored up good. Mm. Smoked it. Come on, baby. They are loving this stuff today. There it is. Mm. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, this here is about your uh, average keeper size that we get down here on the beaver tailwaters, about a 20 inch walleye. You know, you'll get the, if you can get a 24, 26 incher out of here, you're doing super good, doing super good. You know, I think the, you know, a big fish out of here is 13 or 14, but average, our average keepers are right here about the, you know, 19, 20, 21 inch mark, which are super, which is a really good walleye, really. I mean, you get, Plenty of meat off of it. They fight hard. Super fun to catch. Now this is really late in the season and this is late in the day for two reasons. One, we got slapped with a huge storm. Some of the places in Northwest Arkansas got five inches of rain, thunder, lightning, hail, you know, typical spring type weather. So we came out late in the day when the storm cleared. He said, meet us between three and four o'clock. We'll jump on the boat, head up there. Well, you guys know it gets dark around seven around here. We only had a couple hours to fish, but in those couple hours, we caught several dozen walleye. Now, not all of them were keepers. That's just the name of the game. We did see a lot of big ones. Matter of fact, he was fishing for walleye and ended up hooking a paddlefish by accident. You see him release that fish here. It was insane what we saw. Now, as we mentioned, all the fish today came pretty much on jerk baits. Guys threw jerk baits until their arms fell off and came home with some great walleye to eat. Now they got a little measuring board on the boat. They have to be at least 18 inches. If they're not, they go back. But you know what? The guys went home with some excellent tasting walleye fillets and we got a taste of Northwest Arkansas walleye fishing right here on the famous trout filled beaver tailwaters. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.